Welcome back to my channel guys, this is Benito again and this is tutorial number 5. In this tutorial I'll show you how to change the state of a lamp and a label uh, using switch statements. So we'll open up MATLAB App Designer. So I'll use this mini panel and then what we will do is drag in a edit field which is a numeric field and we'll drag in a lamp we'll get rid of the label and drag in a label and we'll give it some more space okay so the idea here is let's say we have a sensor and it it's sending us signals uh, states so for example um, a 0, 1 and 2. So 0 might mean that it's not active, 1 might mean it's active and let's say um, 2 might mean there's an error. So we'll you know simulate that sensor input, we'll basically input the sensor input manually this time but in the later series I'll show you how to you know get a value coming in from Simulink and then automatically update the label and the lamp. So last time we created a callback on a button, but this time we'll create a callback on the edit field itself. So when the value inside the edit field changes, something happens and something happens to the label, which is here. And something happens to the lamp. So for now, we'll just get rid of the text inside it. So it's just blank. So, but it's still there. So don't worry. Um, so we'll click on the edit text edit field and then click on callback and then add a callback. So it automatically creates the value as the sensor input edit field dot value. So the value inside this is assigned is defined as value. So the advantage of a switch statement is compared to an if statement is that if we know the value uh, um, or if you're using a numeric value or a, or a let's say a string that we know then we can use a switch statement so conditional statements we usually use the if statement so here we'll say switch switch the value and so before we do that let's just write a comment so zero if the value inside the edit field is zero then we'll say it's not active if it's 1, we'll say active. If it's 2, let's say there's an error with the sensor. Okay, so then what we have to say is case. So in the case, if the edit field value, this value switches to 0, then we'll say app dot lamp dot color equals we want to say if it's not active then we want to say it's gray so what you can do is find the color RGB value by clicking on this and then choosing the color here so you can see the color change in the edit field so we want to make sure after copying in the RGB value for gray we have to change it back to white so we have to change this back to white otherwise this will stay as gray okay so now that's gray we'll just comment and say that's gray also we want to say the value of our little label here changes so label it's not a value this time it's text because it's text that is changing. So we want to say in quotation marks that it's not active. And we'll end it with a semicolon. So let's say case one. What happens if the value in the edit field is equal to one? The switch value switches to one. So we'll copy this and paste. And we'll say the color switches to green. 
So let's go back again. And let's just click on this because we want it to go to green. So the RGB value is 010. That's pretty easy. We'll just type it in 010. So that's green. Or you could just simply type in G in quotation marks. We'll switch this after. We'll copy. And if it's the final case, which is two, we'll say it's an error and we'll switch that to red, which is one zero zero. So we'll switch this back to zero. So it's white here. So for red, you can do that. Or you could do this uh, in quotation marks, R in quotation marks or red in quotation marks. So, and then we will say, this is active and this is error. Exclamation marks. Now we have, let's say if the sensor sends any other values, then we'll say otherwise it's an unknown state. We'll say we don't know what's going on with the sensor is sending random values. So we'll just say this is black. So that's zero, zero, zero. We don't know what's going on. We'll just say state unknown. Okay, and then we'll end this. So everything looks good. We have no red underline saying there's an error. So if we try to run this now, so we will say not active. So at the start, it's not active. And then if we click run, so it's not active. So if we switch it to one and then press enter, it's active. And then two, enter, it's red. If it's three, then we don't know status unknown. And you can see we need to move this out a little bit further so you can see what's going on there. So we'll just drag this out a little more further and run. And if we go put any other number in, state unknown. If it's three, two, one, zero. There you go. So that's how you use a switch statement to switch the color on the lamp and switch a label. So instead of using a label, you can use a button as well. Then it's the same syntax to change the text. Um, you can use dot text. I use the name of the button and then app dot button dot text to change the text inside the button. So hope you guys learned something new and if you found the video useful subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for more. Thank you.